bit. Um, so if, uh, if anyone wants to put up a slide, otherwise I'm just going to announce a random startup. All right, fuck it. Who should we announce? Uh, I'm going to try SHL Telemedicine every time. It's oh look, it's uh, if it isn't uh, SHL Telemedicine, my favourite of the stars. So good, I announced it twice. Uh, please welcome to the stage this time Shay Lieberitz and Ike Alroy from uh, SHL Telemedicine. Roughly seven years ago, at the age of 52, my dad died from a heart attack. This was not the end of it. Yeah. 29 days later, 6 o'clock in the morning, at the age of 56, my wife's dad died from a heart attack. Judges, folks, anyone here knows someone, family members, co-workers that had a heart attack? Raise your hands, please. Ah, that's amazing. So I'm not alone here today. Imagine what if we could enable any person, whether healthy or patient with a cardiovascular disease, significantly increase the chances of surviving a heart attack. Now stop imagining. What I'm going to show you today is field proven reality doing exactly that. With me today on stage is Irit Alloy, who is the CTO of SHL. My name is Shai Libovitz. I'm Vice President in SHL. For the purpose of the demonstration today, I'll get some help from Rip Amson. Rip, please join me on stage for a couple of minutes. And while Rip is strapping on Smart Heart, let me just show you how a hospital ECG looks like. First, you'll have to be in a hospital, or in a clinic for that matter. Then you'll be connected to that big machine that you see over there, that's the ECG machine. You'll be connected with all these cables going out from the machine to specific places over your body, after you've been rubbed with an icky gel all over your body, and you'll have to have an ECG technician or a trained doctor that can operate the machine. You should also know that 50% of the people who died from a heart attack died before arriving to a hospital and getting medical treatment. Time is the most crucial factor in cardiac events. The sooner you'll be in a hospital getting medical treatment, the higher your chances to survive. Don't worry. Smart Heart will dramatically decrease this number. Rip, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to show you now is that within 30 seconds, I will be able to perform a hospital-grade full ECG exam using SHL's latest innovation called Smart Heart and the Smart Heart iPhone application. Can we switch to the Elmo? Okay, this is going to be quite fast. I'll just press record ECG, just press that button, thank you. In a couple of seconds you see that Smart Heart is communicating with the smartphone, in this case the iPhone. We're not that close. After the communication is established, you'll see the green indicators on the screen indicating the connectivity between Smart Heart and your iPhone, battery status and the communication between the smartphone and the data servers. Once connectivity with the data server is established, we will be able to start recording the ECG. Remember that 30 seconds. Start your timers. What you'll be able to see is that it won't take us 30 seconds. Roughly 12 to 16 seconds and we will perform a full ECG exam. By the end of the recording of the ECG, any user can see the results after they have been fetched from the data servers on the screen. Two more seconds and we're done. 
your heart is uh, pumping really hard. Are you excited? Well, it's not about you now, although you're this way on stage. And we're done. Now we can view the results. The smartphone, in this case the iPhone, goes to the data server fetching the ECG results and represent them graphically to the users. You can see here that we have 12 leads of the ECG. Each lead is representing an angle of your heart. A hospital grade ECG is 12 different angles, meaning 12 leads. We can tap in into one of the leads and just scroll and see the results. And of course, you can send the ECG to any third party. It can be your doctor, your cardiologist, your PHR, your hospital, via email or fax, and that's it. Hospital grade ECG disrupt. Can we switch back to the presentation, please? Smart Heart will transform your iPhones, Androids, and Blackberries into a hospital grade ECG machine. It can be used by anyone, anywhere, anytime, whether at home, in your office, or on the road. It is so easy to use, a single button click, and you are 30 seconds away from performing a full ECG. It is the world's smallest hospital grade ECG that can be used by a non-professional end user anywhere, anytime. Slightly bigger than an iPhone 4 and weighs slightly less than an iPhone 4. Now let me share with you some world data. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in the US. In fact, it's the leading cause of death worldwide. In 2010 alone, heart disease costs were estimated at $316.4 billion. That's only in the US. Every 34 seconds, someone in the U.S. has a heart attack. Not months, not weeks, not days. Seconds. By the end of my presentation, at least six people already had a heart attack. And every minute, someone dies from a heart disease. 79 million Americans have some, some form of cardiovascular disease. 10 seconds. SHL will introduce Smart Heart to the market during the upcoming fall. We will provide the smartphone applications for free. The Smart Heart price is estimated at $499. And you can use it on a monthly service packages or alternatively on a pay-per-use model. We hope that with Smart Heart, your families and your loved ones will enjoy better healthcare and quality of living. Thank you very much. It was um, Smart Heart from uh, SHL Telemedicine, a potentially life-saving iPhone app. I mean, I would have liked to have seen a game element or maybe some sort of photo sharing, but uh, Tony, why don't we start with you? Yeah, just I had a question around, is, is this a hardware model or a software model in terms of the business model? Where are you making the money? Is it selling the physical devices or selling the software applications? Hardware and service. H how? How's the hardware? device would cost 499 Uh-huh. And the service will be provided by different service uh, providers that we'll work with, partners, partnerships, distributors, wherever we are going to And what's operate. your bomb on the 499 Sorry? What's your, what's your bill of materials? What's your, your cost on, on the $500? Not the that physical cheap, unit. but not that expensive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Chris. I can tell you backstage. <laughs> You can tell us on TechCrunch TV in the, uh, the after. No worries, we'll tell you on TechCrunch TV. Watch it. So, I mean, you, you kind of uh, position this as addressing the entire heart disease market. And it's not necessarily responsive to everything in the heart disease world. I mean, I, nope. EKGs come up in two situations, kind of regular doctor checkups. And then when they're confirming, mm. uh, what, no? No. Regular doctor checkups not necessarily comes up with an ECG. Uh, it, it, if, Unless if, you have a very good doctor. Sure. Okay. And second, they come up in emergency situations. Of course. That, uh, and, and it helps diagnose whether somebody's actually having a heart attack or it's some other congenital defect or heartburn, that kind of stuff. So, so tell me how you're going to address both those markets with this device. Well, because there's a lot of stuff related to heart disease that, that an EKG doesn't actually address. So, I mean, we're, we're already talking about a smaller piece of the pie, but how are you going to go after those two markets? ECG, as a fact, is the golden standard in the medical domain for diagnosing something related to the heart. So, whenever a heart problem occurs, 
or especially in cardiac events, you will do an ECG. What we're addressing with this product is actually the need and availability for every user, wherever they are, doesn't matter if they have a cardiac disease or not, to be able to do an ECG and get a response in real time. It will address many people, not just few, and sometimes not for any heart disease, it will be the right solution, but it will be part of the solution. So where does this device reside though? Is it, is it in a clinic? Is it, I mean, are individuals buying this device and then asking doctors to, to check in every now and then? Or? It will reside with you in your bag. So, so every person is going to buy a $500 device to have regular EKGs that are monitored by a doctor somewhere else remotely? Yes. I don't buy it. I buy an iPhone for 499 yeah. It doesn't monitor because anything. an iPhone is a pervasive communication platform for like everything I do in my life. Like that takes a heart measurement that I need like annu once maybe annually and then when I'm totally fucked. <laughs> I hope you won't be totally fucked, but if you could pay that much for saving your life, I, mean, I would I, reconsider it. I think I'd be more convinced if you said, look, uh, the major healthcare institutions are concentrated in large cities. We have all these rural areas where people don't get access to this kind of technology. And so we see those community healthcare clinics buying one of these, uh, and it could be operated by people who aren't fully licensed doctors, et cetera. So a volunteer in one of those clinics could wrap one of these things around you, and then awesome, highly qualified doctors who are either in major hospitals or working from home can be evaluating EKGs from across the world for people who are maybe impoverished, don't have access to healthcare, et cetera. I would buy that pitch. The idea that like everyone in this country or other countries is going to buy one of those things carried around in their backpack, utter bullshit. Okay, so maybe not everyone, but what we're trying to do with this is not you going to the clinic in the wrong timing after you already had a severe cardiac event. It's in order to save you from being in that severe situation. If you will go to the professional that will have one of our professional devices, it will be probably a little too late. Uh, Bishan, are you convinced bullshit yeah. or uh, buy it? No, I don't think it's bullshit. I think, I think it's great. I, uh, you know, Give I him had, some hands. Come on. It's not I, a bullshit. I had a uh, situation uh, a couple years ago. I had to stay in the hospital for a weekend. They're hooking all this crap up to me. I had to stay there you know, a couple days just for observation. And it sucks. Being in the hospital just absolutely sucks. I mean, I, I would much rather be at home. Um, I would have you know, loved if I had one of these um, at, at my house instead. And uh, I think for some percentage of the population, like being in the hospital is, is the worst place to be. And uh, if you can um, you know, be on top of your own medical uh, situation, it's, it's a good thing. So um, I'd like to see other types of apps being built on top of this. So maybe you notify your physician or there's a network that gets established. Like if it's just a pure hardware company, I think there's, it's maybe a missed opportunity. I think if it's a service, I mean, kind of like OnStar, or, I, I don't know, but there's got to be something else you could do with this. Yeah. So you're going to buy this when it launches? I'll buy one. And keep it around the house? Yeah. I mean, you didn't spend two days and in the hospital and when you to come get over, one I'll EKG, though. Too. You didn't spend two days in the hospital to get one EKG, no, they, right? They left it on me to just keep observations, you know, to ob observe me to make sure that, you know, like everything was okay. But it's like, you know, two days I'm just standing, you know, sitting around and I've got all this crap hooked up to me and that was lame. I mean, we've got, we've got like the paddles out there, the heart attack paddles. So that, that's, and like, when, that's when it's That's over. when you... Right, but I'm just saying like people haven't really, that's not a major market, right? They appeared yeah. in public spaces, but... I like that. And so, no, it'd be, I mean, but no one's buying paddles for their house or but carrying them around in their backpack. No. So, well, 15 seconds, but yeah. you, you own already. No, I, I think it comes down to the marketing vision and the plan, which we don't have access to. But I think you have to be realistic about how you package this to which customer. Because I'd rather be in the hospital if I thought I had heart problems than at home with that. So, you know, at some point, if I have heart problems, I, as, bad, as bad as the hospital is, I think I'd rather be in the hospital. Okay, we're out of time, but that's a huge round of applause then for SHL Telemedicine and Smart Heart. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Um, so I love it when the judges argue amongst themselves. That always makes for, for good entertainment. Um,